In this video, we will learn how to write uh, equation of a line that is tangent to a circle. So for example, in this case, we have a circle over here, this green, and this pink line is tangent to the circle at this point. So they gave us uh, the equation of this circle and they gave us the point where this line is tangent to the circle. Okay, so we need to write the equation for this line over here. So we need to write the equation for this line. So first of all, the first step is, uh, if you notice, this is our radius over here. And if we can check from the equation, let, let me write the standard equation, which is x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to radius square. <clears throat> so radius here is uh, 5. So this point from uh, origin, because in, in given equation, h and k is 0, that means the center of our circle is at the origin at 0, 0. So this is the radius of this circle. So we, we got two points on the radius, like 3 and 4 and 0, 0. So what, what we're going to do in first step, I'm going to write the slope of the circle. Okay, slope of the, oh, sorry, slope of the radius. Okay, and let's say it is M and you know it's rise over run or the change in y value over change in x value, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in our case, I'll say y2 is 4 minus 0 over 3 minus 0. So that gives me slope of this radius of the circle is 4 over 3. <coughs> and the second step is, so there is a theorem in the math, the line that is tangent to the circle is perpendicular to the radius. So this line which is tangent to the circle at this point and this radius at this point makes an angle of 90 degree with the tangent line in the circle. Okay, so according to that, this line is perpendicular to the radius. If we know if we know the slope of the radius, we can write the slope of this tangent line, you know. So in perpendicular lines, you can watch my other video that's where I talk about parallel and perpendicular line. The rule is the slope of this line, which is perpendicular to this line, is equal to the negative reciprocal of the slope of the other line. Okay, so these two lines are perpendicular. The slope of this red line is 4 over 3 so that means the slope of this pink line is going to be negative reciprocal of the slope of the other line so this is the case when both the lines are perpendicular okay so what we got here so we got the slope of the line so we are trying to write the equation for this line and we know the general equation is like y minus y1, which is 4 in our case, is equal to slope, which is a negative 3 over 4. We find out already, we found it. The slope of this line is negative 3 over 4 into x minus x1. So x minus and x is 3 in our case. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we're going to solve, we're going to solve the equation to write the general equation of the line. Or it will it, be like in slope intercept. So y will be uh, negative 4, let's simplify the right hand side first. So this will be negative 3 over 4x plus 3 times 3 is 9 over 4. And if we add 4 into both hand side, we'll get, if we add 4 here, we're going to add 4 over here too. This 4 will cancel this 4 out. So we're left with the y on the left hand side, which is equal to negative 3 fourth x plus, so we're going to add 9 over 4 plus 4, which is 4, plus, 4 times 4 is 
16 plus 9 is 25 over 4. Okay, so this is the equation of a line that is tangent to this circle. So this pink line. So we are writing the equation of this pink line. Again, so first rule is write the slope of the radius and we found it. The second step is as this line and radius both are perpendicular to each other. So we're going to find the slope of this line, which is basically the negative reciprocal of the slope of this line and we got negative 3 over 4 and then we're going to write the equation of a line which is y minus y1 is equal to slope into x minus x1 and y1 and x1 is our point through which this line is passing and is a tangent at the circle and we plug in those values here and solve the equation so we got the equation of a line that is tangent to the circle at a given point Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Please practice a couple more examples. Like they can ask you, they can give you the equation in this form. Like in this example, h and k is 0. They might give you h and k here, the h and k value. So in that case, when you are writing the slope of the radius, instead of 0, 0, because the second point is 0, 0, we are going to use our h and k point to find the slope of the radius. That's the only difference. Okay, so instead of 0, 0, we are going to use h and k values. Alright, so practice more example. I think you guys will be good to go.